APC candidate skips Edo governorship debates as LP and PDP candidates present manifestos. The All Progressive Congress candidate in the Edo State governorship election, Mr. Monde Opebolo, was, cons- was conspicuously absent as leading candidates in the poll presented their manifestos to political stakeholders, professionals, and leaders of old boys associations of some schools in the state. The event, a town hall meeting organized by a socio-economic group of Edo professionals, Unuedo, Unuedo Renaissance, was held at the Black Diamond Hotel Ozumba, Madiwewe, Madiwe, Lagos State. The candidates of the Labour Party, Mr. Olumide Apata, and the People's Democratic Party candidate, Mr. Aswe Godalo, attended the event. Speaking of his plan, Igodalo said the state would toe the line of state policing to secure the state more effectively. Igodalo stressed that security, like politics, was local, adding that the vigilantes and other local security apparatuses must be empowered to properly secure the local committees. He noted that the problem with state policing was that it was mostly used by local leaders to their advantage, stressing that change must change. There must be a constitutional barrier to state policy to state police and not used to fight political opponents, he said. Speaking further, he added, in Edo, in the last years, kidnapping and other local crimes have decreased. We will work with police some more. There will be lots of collaborations and this would make a difference. Financing for the police has always been a problem, but we will work with the existing systems. If our constitution changes tomorrow, we will equip our state police even more and know how we will be able to help them to achieve their goal. Speaking on education, Apata stated that education was critical to the overall success of the state. He said, I have never schooled outside Nigeria and I can assure you that stand shoulder to shoulder with any of my peers anywhere in the world. We at the Labour Party are all about Mama, Papa and Pekin. I am dissatisfied with the level of education in, in Edo State. When I took the entrance exam of King's College Lagos as a pupil, I scored 91% to be able to get in. And that was the level they held in Edo State. What changed? What are the basic ingredients to make Edo State work? In Edo today, we have people lying on the bare floor to read and write. This means infrastructure is critical. The teachers are not motivated. Most schools do not even have teachers at all. Teacher recruitment is abysmal. Speaking on education, Igodalu countering Apata stated that the Edo Best program by the current administration has proved education in the state. Both candidates, however, agreed that mission schools should be, re- should be returned to the original owners of private organizations that have the capacity to handle them. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily contents here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this. Do not blame him for skipping debate because his grandpa Jagaban skipped debates during presidential election. If you don't like it, go to court. Edo people, I presume, are wise. His absence from the debates marks his disregard for the electorate and clear indication he cannot capture the interest of Edo people in his governance if elected. Edo people should lead the change that we desire by not voting those seeking public office and avoiding debate. Buhari's case is worthy of mention. APC people that did not go to school, how would they debate? What do they want to debate for? Certificates forgery everywhere in APC. After all this hunger, high cost of living, high cost of transportation, high cost of food, anybody that wants to vote APC is an enemy of progress. 
See, Nigerians get sense at least for once. Whenever APC sits down with INEC judiciary, security officials, and agree on any of their party candidates anywhere in Nigeria, then it's a done deal. They don't attend debates because the result is already decided in their favor. Instead of wasting time, money, and resources, unite with even the devil and obliterate them. Let elections be seen as war to deal with them ruthlessly and without mercy because they are vampires and enough is enough. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on.